Hello everyone, my name is Winnie David and today we will talk about HAI that is Healthcare Associated Infection. What is HAI? Healthcare Associated Infection and Nosocomial Infection are same. It is an infection which is acquired during hospitalization and which was not present or incubating at the time of admission. An infection that is acquired in the hospital and becomes evident after discharge from the hospital. Patients at risk of HAI Patient with the age more than 70 years Shock, major trauma, acute renal failure or coma Patient on regular dialysis Prior antibiotic Mechanical ventilator Indwelling catheters Immunocompromised patients and lastly the prolonged ICU stay more than 3 days. These categories of patients having the more risk of getting hospital acquired infection. What are the types of healthcare associated infections? Basically there are 4 types. Number 1 bloodstream infection which have 2 categories CLEPSI and CRBSI. CLEPSI stands for centraline associated bloodstream infection and CRBSI stands for catheter related bloodstream infection. Second, COTI that is the catheter associated urinary tract infection. Third, ventilator associated pneumonia that is VAP. And lastly, the surgical site infection that is SSI or exocyte infection that is ASI. Now, Clepsy, that is centraline associated bloodstream infection. Now what are the healthcare associated bloodstream infections? We will talk about in detail. Healthcare associated bloodstream infections are serious infections that can be associated with high mortality which may be more than 50% for some microorganisms. These infections are often associated with intravascular catheters. Infection can occur at the catheter's entry site or along the catheter's subcutaneous tract line known as tunnel infection. This type of infection is largely dependent on the care taken during the insertion and handling of the intravascular catheter. Both central line and peripheral lines can be a source of infection. Clepsy, that is central line associated bloodstream infection, it is a very serious infection for the patients who are having central lines may be caused by cutaneous microorganisms that contaminate the catheter during the insertion or migrate along the catheter tract or by microorganisms from the hands of healthcare workers during interventions roots of contamination of catheters Migration of skin organisms at the insertion site into the cutaneous catheter tract and along the surface of the catheter with the colonization of the catheter tip, the most common route of infection for short term catheters. Next, direct contamination of the catheter or catheter hub by contact with hand or contaminated fluid or devices. The last, through the bloodstream from another focus of infection. Now we will discuss about chain of infection. Chain of infection having infectious agents, reservoir, portal of exit, mode of transmission, portal of entry and susceptible hosts. Now we will go detail in chain of infection. Number one infectious agent. It is the pathogen or a germ that causes disease. Number two is reservoir includes places in the environment where the pathogens lives. This includes people, animal and insects, medical equipment, soil and water. Number third is portal of exit. It is the way the infectious agent leaves the reservoir through open wounds, aerosols and splatter of body fluids including coughing, sneezing and saliva. Number four is mode of transmission. It is the way the infectious agent can be passed on through direct or indirect contact, indigestion or inhalation. Number 5 is portal of entry. It is the way the infectious agent can either a new host through broken skin, the respiratory tract, mucous membrane and catheters and tubes. And number 6 is susceptible host. It can be any person. The most vulnerable to whom are receiving healthcare are immunocompromised 
or have invasive medical devices including lines devices and earplugs lastly now we will discuss about what are the preventive measures of hai that is healthcare associated infections the most important preventive measure is hand hygiene it has been seen that 90% of the chance of infection will be reduced if we follow proper hand hygiene maintaining a high level of asepsis during catheter insertion and care it is very important when we are putting or insert any catheter or a line we have to follow all the bundle care and all the preventive measures to prevent any infection and when we provide care through that care catheters we have to follow the aseptic technique limited use of a catheter when we required to use a catheter only then we have to touch the catheter otherwise we should not touch or interfere with the catheter preparing fluid and drugs aseptically before use when we have to administer any drug to a patient we have to follow the aseptic technique while preparing and then only we have to immediately transfuse the drug to the patient to prevent any contamination and infection training of personal or healthcare workers regarding catheter care is very important in prevention of infection also we have to pay a very serious attention toward the cleaning and decontamination of soiled equipments otherwise it will be a great source to give a infection to a patient appropriate disposal of biomedical waste if we do not discard or segregate properly then it will become a good source of infection appropriate cleaning and disinfection of environment if we do not clean or disinfect the environment properly then it will become the good source of infection and lastly maintaining a good and healthy workplace or environment to all the staffs or patients thank you very much for watching this video if you have any doubt or query do contact with the clinical team which is always present for you thank you